What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and I'm back once again to go over the spooky new additions to Fortnite Battle Royale as part of Update 18.20. But hey, before any of that, if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, we've got the perfect thing for you. World-class coaching that anyone can benefit from, with coaches that are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the last week alone, our coaches helped a 100 students climb from contenders to champions. So, if you want to be next, visit Pro Guides in the link below right now. First and foremost, there are some brand new weapons coming to the game this week, the Combat Assault Rifle or the Combat SMG. The Combat Assault Rifle will deal 21 damage per shot to a player at common, while the legendary version of the weapon will do 25 damage per shot. Meanwhile, the common version of the Combat SMG will only deal 20 damage to a player per shot, with the legendary version of the weapon dealing 24. Both of these combat weapons will fire at a much faster fire rate than their standard counterparts, but you'll only be able to unlock one of them as part of the war effort that will be ongoing soon. Next up, let's take a look at the map changes. Cool. There aren't any. Well, that was easy. What we do know about map changes is that by Halloween, there will be a whole new cube POI in the center of the map, so we have that to look forward to. There is one small change to the map, though. Jump scare zombies have been added. There's a 50-50 chance that they'll spawn from their assigned items, so get ready to get spooked if you come across one. Return requests for skins have been updated. Now everyone will have an annual return request, allowing them to refund one purchase every 365 days. The superhero skins are no longer banned from competitive game modes, so let's hope that there's no more game-breaking combinations left for people to exploit. Epic says that they have made changes to the lighting and shading effects on the skin, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Something quite controversial was found in the files by Hypex today, and it's something called a smart build mode. It seems that by using this mode, people will be able to spawn in entire structures in an instant. The structures that seem to be on offer at the moment is a full box, a bridge, and a tower of 290s. This will obviously be intended to help lesser skilled players build against much more skilled enemies, but considering that just lowers the skill gap required to play well in Fortnite, I doubt many people are actually going to be happy about this addition when it actually becomes unlocked. There have been some more imposters updates. First up, there's a new role bias feature, allowing you to choose whether you want to play as an imposter or as an agent. There's also a new playlist with an open voice chat, which will allow everyone to actually communicate by voice. Okay, let's go over all the leaked cosmetics in the new patch. For the skins, we've got the Costumed Corporal, the Masked Mercenary, Gummy Fishstick, Grizzabelle, Jet, Graven, and the Driftwalker. From the harvesting tools, there's the Giant Jelly Sourfish, the All Weather Extractor, the Broken Heart Slicer, the Perfect Prop Pickaxe, the Cursed Crescent, and finally, the Corrupted Rift Edges. For back blings, there's the Thinking Juice, Treats to Go, the Big Stash, the Backbiter, the Original Puffer Pack, the Jet's Jagged Heart, the Embalm Wings, and finally, the Broken Fractal Wings. We've got three new gliders this time, the Corrupted Tendrils, the Graven's Wings, and the Cube Cruiser. Finally, the Wraps. There's the Ultra Sour, Tagged, and the Batty. Honestly, this update was pretty small, all things considered, but we've got another update next week and an update the week after that, so there should be plenty of content on its way to the game in time for Fort Nightmares. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe with the bell on, leave a like, and come back next week so I can tell you all about update 18.21.